Russell Township, just a bit outside of Ottawa, passed a bylaw requiring all businesses post their signs in English and French in letters of equal size. Two men challenged it, Howard Galganov and Jean-Serge Brisson. They said that the township had no authority to tell them what language their business signs had to be in and that to do so was in violation of Section 2B of the Charter, which reads, Everyone has the following fundamental freedoms, freedom of thought, belief, opinion and expression, including freedom of the press and other media of communication. Set official. It's official. Any new business in Russell Township will have to put up signs in English and French. One man wants to challenge the bylaw before the courts. Uh, I don't know if municipalities have the right to uh, legislate culture and language. We're waiting for the Supreme Court of Canada to tell us whether or not they're going to hear our appeal on the Russell Forced Bilingual Bylaw um, Act. Uh, we should know, I would imagine, uh, either by Christmas or a little bit after Christmas. If the Supreme Court says they're not going to hear the case, then it becomes the law of Canada. Not just the law of Ontario, but the law of Canada. It means that any municipality can legislate on issues of not just language, uh, and not just culture, but any of the guarantees that are given to us through the Charter of Rights and Freedoms. The, uh, the Supreme Court basically said that townships have the right to uh, pass legislation on anything in Canada, including uh, our constitutional rights and freedoms. Uh, they also uh, basically threw out uh, Section 1 of the Charter of Rights and Freedoms, which is that notwithstanding clause that allows judges to uh, make decisions that abrogate uh, freedom of expression for English-speaking people in favor of French-speaking people. And Section 1 was, uh, uh, it's very clear, what it says is that when the French language uh, is imperiled, uh, when uh, there is real need to uh, uh, give special privileges and rights to the French language, then the judges have the right to uh, take away freedom of expression uh, from English speakers.